What is up guys, it is Zach Boche, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a hero section for your website using HTML and Tailwind CSS. So let's get started. First, I'm going to create a new project folder. So we're just gonna call this my site. You can call it hero section if you want, either way works. Then I'm going to make our file. So index.html, this is gonna be our homepage. I'm gonna click go live just so we have this open on the side as well and we can see what we're actually coding here. Let me drag this there. And now, I'm gonna give that the full window. Next, I'm going to make the basic HTML template using Emmet. So we're just gonna write this exclamation mark and then it's going to give us this base template here. So after that, we're going to build the following. So first, we're going to build a nav bar. Oh, also, we're going to bring in the Tailwind CSS CDN, like so. So this is going to, this is going to be a script tag, so script source. It's going to be https cdn.tailwindcss.com. And we know that this works if we have, let's say, hello world in the h1 tag. So we write that. Let's refresh our page here because we didn't start with this doc type. Right, so that's a h1 tag, but it's small, so that's good enough for us to know that it actually works. So, first let's build our nav bar. So that's going to look like the following. So it's just going to be a div. Inside of that, there's going to be a few things here. So uh, we're actually going to have another one. So this is going to be the nav bar overall. So this is going to be a, uh, I believe, flex box. And then that's just going to say item center. And then the height can be like, I don't know, 20. Uh, so that's like, I think 80 pixels. Um, and then let's say BG slate 800 for now. And right, so now we see this dark spot up on our screen here. And from there, we're going to be able to go down below. And let's see, so next, this is going to be our container. So this is just going to be MX auto relative, and then we'll say max width. Uh, actually, you know what? We're, we'll just add padding here. So PX five, but yeah, okay. So max width uh, screen, I don't know. Let's say XL. And inside of that, now we're going to have another piece. So this is going to be our title. So our uh, website logo, text uh, 4XL, font bold, uh, text white, like so. Actually, let's make that uh, font thin, uppercase. Sure, something like that. Um, font light. Okay, that didn't seem to change anything, but um, either way, so now we have that there and it's currently centered. So we also wanna make this the full width that it can be. So that's all the way on that side. And I wanna position it center just because that's how I like to position things. So I'm going to say, uh, give it an absolute positioning. We're going to say here, um, but a bum, let's see. So we're gonna say left one half so if we save that, right, so now it's over there. We're gonna to say top, also one half. Then we're going to say, uh, let's see, negative translate, oh wait, hold on. Uh, okay, yeah, one more thing that we can add here is just an empty tailwind.config.js file. And this will give us some of these properties uh, this will activate the IntelliSense. I actually made a, even a video on this for Tailwind CSS. Uh, so now if I say negative translate Y one half and negative translate X one half. Right, so now it is perfectly centered. And the reason that I use absolute positioning is because one, uh, if I'm only using flex uh, it won't fully center if I have other items in it. And we do want another item here. So this is our navbar logo, which we can also write like this, by the way, for smaller screens. 
then we're going, we're just going to have a simple menu. So uh, navbar menu, we can write it like that. Give this a div, or actually give this a nav tag. Have a few A's in here. So A, uh, go home. I don't know. Login. Sign up like that. Text white flex. Give that, give those some gap, right? Like that. And then if, uh, if we want it to the right, um, there's a couple of ways we can do this. One of them would just be to say, I think absolute and then write zero. Okay. Well, yeah, so maybe top zero as well. Okay, so we'd essentially have to do almost the same thing there, except I think right can stay, but uh, okay. The other way to do this is by going to our container here. So navbar container, that's just to keep things off the sides mostly, if you even want that. But then uh, here we can say flex items center, which actually might've saved us some CSS even before, and then justify end. And that puts it over to the right. So normally you'll see websites kind of built something like this. And uh, yeah, that's the start here. So next we need to build the actual hero content section. So that's going to, going to go like this. So this whole thing is going to be the hero section. We're going to have these kind of separate for now. So now we need to build the content. So we have our nav bar pretty much built. So I'll just minimize that for now. Next we're going to say, uh, let's see. So hero section content, like so. This is going to have the following. So uh, let's see, so div, we're gonna have an H1. That's just like whatever we want on that page. So this can be like, uh, welcome to my site. You can have a P tag for the subtitle. Um, the land of opportunity. Nice. So, and uh, let's also have like a button here. So this is gonna just be get started, something basic. Add some of the styling here. So one, we're gonna say class text center. On our H1, we're just gonna give it text, let's say seven. Excel, font, semi-bold. Uh, right, so that's can pretty much be that. You can even make it six just for a little screen here. So on the P tag, we're just gonna say class font light. And then uh, I think text two Excel, maybe three. Right, give that some margin top here. Welcome to my site, the land of opportunity. That's cool. Um, and then on the button, on our get started link, we're gonna say PX5, PY2, so that gives it some padding. Also, we're gonna make it inline block. Like so, let's give it a background color. So we're gonna say BG, uh, cyan, I don't know, 500, text white, and then hover, we'll say BG, cyan, 400, and transition colors. So now we have a nice little button here. Uh, from there, we're gonna give that a pretty big margin. So we're gonna say margin top 10 for now, and what we're missing here is that we want this to be centered on our page. So um, let's do that. So next we have text center here. So there's a few ways to do this. One, uh, so we have the hero section content. So if we want this to be centered on a page, the parent is going to have to have a default set height. So to do that, we're going to say div here. This is going to be, uh, let's see, h screen 
flex items center justify well technically you don't need to say justify center but uh at least flex item center right and now it's on that side but i think if we just say mx auto around our content here right so that should put it in the center now you might notice that with this the nav bar is not included in this section here so that's typically why I build it this way and why I'm trying to build or why we're building both here uh, to show you how you would have a uh, just the hero section take up only the top part of the screen. So that'll be like this. So we're going to have a section tag here. This section is going to be a flex that is a flex column. And actually, this is also the same trick if you want to um, have a footer that also that always just stays at the bottom of your screen, but that will be another video. Uh, so let's do this. Boop -a -doop -a -doop. And close this section. So it's going to be flex column. We're going to get rid of H screen from here. And now we have two parts. So there's the this is going to be the hero section content. And we have our nav bar still. But now everything's all squished together. So let's go ahead and do the next step. So on this part, because this is a flex item, we're going to give it the property of flex one. And then also I feel like uh, I think, oh yeah. So on our hero section up here, this is going to be the one that's H screen. Right. And now uh, everything is actually properly aligned. So if you want to see what this looks like, uh, or why you would build it with everything inside of just a single section here. Like why do you put the nav bar here instead of in some more globally available space? And the answer is that if you're going to build it this way, you'll probably want to do both. So uh, on some pages, you'll have this in a hero section like this. On the other ones, you might have the nav bar. Um, well, actually, I guess there are multiple ways of doing it. So um, either way, if you're going to build it this way, <laughs> let me show you what this is good for. So I'm going to get rid of the background here. I'm also going to get rid of the text white on the logo and on the links here. Like so. So now everything is all part of the same page. And if I want to change, let's say, the text color on every single one of these or the background, I can easily do so. So if I want to say, uh, background slate 800, text white. I can do that and change that entire section. We can even build a section like below it. That's just like, uh, I don't know, section, let's give it a class background black, H screen again, or I should say uh, min H screen. Same with this one. Right, so now we have two sections, but this one does take up the whole uh, height of our container here. And like this can be whatever, so uh, yeah. If you want to add like a background image, style equals background image. We can use unsplash's uh, CDN here, so it's going to be https source.unsplash.com featured. Uh, or actually, let's just say random. Boom. Make that centered, BG center, BG cover, like so. Make it a little darker, BG blend, overlay, BG black, but BG black uh, 20, like so. Now it's just slightly darker. Right, and now we have this beautiful top section here. Uh, you can even say BG fixed if you want. Make it nice and beautiful like that. And yeah, that is pretty much how you build your hero section. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the content. And if you like the content, subscribe. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.